The James Webb Space Telescope has just officially released the first image it's ever taken in space. It's of a nearby star called HD 84406, and to be honest, it's a pretty terrible photo. After flying through space for six weeks or so, JWST has arrived at its destination, an orbit around a spot of space called L2. This is about one and a half million kilometers from the Earth, and it lets JWST orbit the Sun in a slightly larger orbit than the Earth. This means that JWST's sun shield can protect the telescope from light from the Sun, Earth, and Moon at the same time. On its journey, JWST has unfolded and bloomed into an enormous 6.5 meter diameter telescope. But because the primary mirror is made up of 18 separate segments which were folded up during the launch, the next important step is to precisely align each of these segments into one perfect mirror. If this is done badly, the images that JWST takes will be blurry or even contain multiple copies of the same object in the same image. Since this alignment process has only just begun, each segment is currently acting like its own little telescope. And this is exactly what we see in the first image released by JWST. This image actually contains only one star, but the image of that star is repeated 18 times. One copy for each mirror segment that makes up James Webb. Remember also that Webb is an infrared telescope, so the image we see here is of the infrared light given off by the star. If you want to know more about why it was designed as an infrared telescope, then I have a video talking about exactly that, which I'll link in the description. But in short, infrared light lets Webb look through dusty regions of space to see things like the formation of planets and galaxies that are usually hidden to us if we look at them with visible light. And it also lets Webb see some of the oldest structures in the universe. Back to the photo from JWST and the team behind the telescope are using this star as one way of aligning the mirrors. It was chosen because it's a reasonably nearby star in a relatively empty patch of sky. And it's bright enough that we can easily pick it out on the image, even when using a blurry telescope. However, while Webb can safely look at this star for now, once it's fully aligned and working at maximum sensitivity, this star will actually be too bright to look at, as it would damage the incredibly sensitive cameras that the mirrors reflect light into. This photo was taken the Near Infrared Camera, or NERCAM, on JWST, which is one of the four detectors on board the telescope. It took 25 hours to position Webb to image this star, over which time it took over one and a half thousand images from 156 slightly different angles in the rough direction of the star to make sure they definitely imaged the right part of the sky. The photo here is actually only the very center of the whole picture taken, which was much, much larger and consisted of over 2 billion pixels. This corresponds to a lot of data, over 54 gigabytes in fact. And this was permitted because it allowed a test that all the science and data operations were running smoothly here on Earth. The initial area of space imaged was about the size of the full moon on the sky, and it was this large because the team weren't sure exactly how spread out the 18 images would look. Luckily, all the images were fairly close together at the center of the region, and so this is already great news and makes the alignment of the mirrors even quicker and easier. They used NERCAM instead of one of the other detectors because it has a much larger field of view than any of the other detectors, and it's also safe to operate it at higher temperatures than the other instruments. The cryogenic cooling on board hasn't fully cooled the telescope down yet, but when it's fully cooled, NERCAM's images will be even clearer and have less artifacts and the other detectors will eventually be brought online as well. What's really cool about this image is the scientists working on Webb have even been able to identify exactly which image here corresponds to which segment of the mirror. For example, they know these three here come from the three segments on the first wing of Webb, and the three here correspond to the other wing. You can see that this image isn't symmetric as you might expect, and this is precisely because it isn't well aligned yet, and the fact that everything is blurry is down to the same reason. Now, over the next few weeks, the team will slowly move the mirror segments to bring each image into focus, and then slowly align the segments so that the images start to overlap and eventually form one perfect image of the star. At that point, we have a telescope that will pretty much be ready to do some really exciting science, and this will hopefully happen by the summer of 2022. The web team actually released a second super cool image alongside this first photo, which is a selfie of the primary mirror. Again taken by NERCAM since there are no external cameras on web. This gives JWST a face in space and it provides a unique look at the telescope. I think what's happened here is that NERCAM has looked up at the secondary web mirror and taken the photo looking back at the telescope. We can see one of the segments is particularly bright because this one happens to be aligned to be directly facing a star. Since all the segments aren't perfectly positioned yet, 
we see that they aren't quite all facing the same way, and this is why only one of them is lit up like this. Beyond just looking awesome, this picture allows the team to see how the mirror segments are aligned relative to the instrument itself, and also lets us see the instrument in the center of the image. If you're as excited as I am about JWST and its huge amount of progress already, then check out some of the other videos on my channel talking about it. Subscribe if you enjoyed, and let me know in the comments below what part of Webb's mission you're most excited about. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye.